friends, I'm Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles. Welcome to another video. And in this one, I want to show you the Bianca Bolero by Sinclair Patterns. So I will insert a few pictures here so you can see what I'm talking about. It's a really cute bolero, with, you know, short with that curved um, shape as they do, you know. <laughs> What I liked about what I liked about it was that it had this neckline with curved bands, and I thought the shape looked really lovely on the pictures. I went ahead and I thought this is going to be a staple for me. I initially had planned to make it in a colorful print, and then I decided against that because. <laughs> I need the solids, you know, I really need the solids and when I'm photographing some things um, like jackets, I don't have solid things to put under there. I'm like, oh, I've got nothing. So I end up using like my sports singlets that I wear to the gym because those are solids. Anyhow, I decided to make a black bolero because it'll go with everything, you know. This one is described as fitted, true to size, around the bust with a bit of ease around the waist. Uh, the hip measurements are not important here, so they advise you to choose your size based on your bust. Um, so for this pattern, they offer a size zero to, to a 22 US, meaning a 31 to 48 bust, depending on the size. I chose my size based on my bust measurement. Um, my bust measurement put me between a 12 and a 14. I decided to be on the safe side and I chose a 14. Um, they also offer petite, regular and tall versions for these patterns. So I chose the tall because I'm 5 foot 8 and that sort of fit into the tall category for, for the patterns. I thought that was really cool. And actually uh, the sleeves are really, they fit me really well because on most patterns they, they come up short on me on the sleeves, you know. And then I end up with unintentional three-quarter length sleeves sometimes, you know. So all the seam allowances for the pattern that are included uh, is a quarter inch, seven millimeters approximately. So to make it easier and faster, I just put that quarter inch foot on my sewing machine, which made it so much faster to keep a straight line and not think about the seam allowance. So all in all, it was a super easy make and I was stoked to have something easy after having had all the work with the motors jacket that, that you've seen already, that was a lot of work, you know? Um, so I have filmed the process so you can see how easy it was to put together. This is a meter and a half of fabric. You can see the white piece of paper are the parts of the bolero. And I'm sneaking in a pencil skirt at the same time. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the cuffs, but yeah, that's what I've got. I have attached the shoulder seams there. I've overlocked and sewn with a quarter inch, which is what is included in this pattern. I've used my quarter inch foot to do that. And look at that front body. It looks so tiny, but then it's gonna have all this band and things, you know? I top stitched, um, with the seam allowance facing to the back uh, just to stabilize a little bit that shoulder seam <laughs> round weirdness that you see here is uh, three pattern pieces that um, make up for the band that goes around the back I mean the neck or the, the front part of the bodice and the back band so up here I've already pinned um, the center back there and then this goes uh, around the front there's some notches there that you match up to the bodice on the front and then this is where you get to the side seams and then this is the back. So I have to do this twice. I have them one on top of the other. I'm gonna do that separately. Pressed both. I've got them right sides together, meeting up all the seams and I've pinned them all the way around. I'm gonna do a straight stitch 
flip it over and then this raw edge with it all flipped over is gonna go to the bolero. Now finally making sense, isn't it? So I've pinned all the band all the way around. Here is the top, the middle of the neck. There's the shoulder seams. Here I've matched the side seams with the side seams there on the band, both sides there. Now there is a, there's a notch around there and there's a notch to meet the band with the shoulder seams. Everything matches up. It's just the perfect pattern. Now I just have to sew and overlock and then I have to press and do some top stitching there. So after sewing it up, I never tried it on because I blindly trusted that it was going to fit, you know. Um, I tried it on and I felt that the sleeves were like, they, they just were too poofy around here. Uh, there wasn't gathers or anything, the sleeves fit the arm side perfect. It was just when I was standing, there was a lot of fabric around here, but at the back it was fine. So I thought maybe I sewed on the sleeves wrong, like I put the back Part of the sleeves towards the front part of the arm side so I went and unstitched the, uh, the the sleeve now my notches had already faded out I marked them with chalk and I saw that there was a double notch there on my sleeve piece and I thought oh yeah I did put it wrong you know because traditionally the, the double notch uh, double notch uh, symbolizes the back right so I went to check my pattern pieces and actually <laughs> that symbolized the front. So I was super confused, I didn't know what to do. I got in touch with the designer, um, she responded really quickly about my doubts and confirmed that, that the double notch on the pattern piece was the front, so there was no error there. But the way that the sleeves were drafted were to be a relaxed fit. That meant that the arm side uh, for the front and back were practically identical as was the sleeve head, you know? So I mean, I've seen sleeves like that before on like loose, looser styles, like thinner knits and like t-shirts and things like that. I think it looks fine. But for this fitted bolero and for the style I like, I like things to fit nicely around the shoulders. I had to go ahead and deconstruct and modify the sleeve and um, it, yeah, I had to modify some stuff. You saw that um, you attach on the sleeve flat and then you do one continuous stitch for the sleeve and the side seam continuously, you know? So uh, that means that in no part of this process can you try everything on, you know? And usually you don't need to try <laughs> uh, sleeves like this on, you know, if it's a knit and everything. Um, so I went ahead and trusted the thing and I did it, but hi in hindsight, I don't think I'm gonna do this method again, even though it's recommended instructions for knits because I really do want to try on my sleeve before attaching it, which means I would do it the traditional way. Like I would close the shoulder seams, close the side seams, sew the sleeve, and then set it in like you would a, a woven one, even though it's a knit. I think um, I would have avoided some unpicking had I done that, you know, but oh well, <laughs> you live <laughs> and you learn every time you sew and you have to end up unpicking something to fix it, you know? So I'm going to show you now a, a video of me fitting it on myself and just a warning, <laughs> I'm in pyjamas at night, there is a toothpaste stain on my shirt, just so you know. <laughs> so have a look at that. And I've done a little, a little dart there and it fits the bust so much better now and I think I'm going to just shave that arm side a little tiny bit, like half a centimeter on the front. And look look at this fit right there. It's very nice. And look at the other side that doesn't have that dart. Yeah. So um, I think I'm going to make that small adjustment, transfer that onto my other side and onto my pattern piece. 
and I think the fit is so much better for my my C cup this way. So adding in that little that little arm side that got rid of the excess around the arm side and made this shorter. Usually it is shorter because our arms are shaped that way on like a classic style uh, sleeve, you know, that, and that was what I wanted. So that got rid of that excess there, which meant I had to um, modify the sleeve. And I'm inserting some images here of how I got the front of the sleeve did a slash all the way to the bottom and removed the inch I had taken out of the arm side from the sleeve. Now that is a quick fix. Uh, I had already cut out my pattern pieces. I couldn't go fiddling with cutting other other sleeve pieces because I didn't have any more fabric. Sometimes the ways I show what worked for me might not be the traditional conventional way. So I do want to make that clear. It's what helps me when I've already cut out everything and to make it fit me. Um, I'm gonna go and perfect this sleeve, of course, uh, so I get the grain line right, because when you mess with the arm side, you might sometimes get the grain line out of balance, you know? So just keep that in mind. <laughs> it's different when you're making an adjustment to a fresh new pattern uh, piece, and then you're gonna cut the fabric um, to when you've already cut out the fabric and you're just trying to get it to fit you, you know? enough blabbing because here is my super cute bolero it's super cute I just I love it a lot um, you know these bands curve beautifully around around the shape you know the back hits right above my natural waist so it's not those super mega crop boleros that I don't like either there are some that are like up here I'm like yeah that looks sort of strange but this is just like a little crop jacket the back looks really nice I top stitched everywhere to keep the bands nice and flat. I've used a Liverpool knit, quite stretchy, medium weight, I thought it was nice for a jacket. Um, all the pattern pieces fit beautifully. There's a couple of notches to help you attach the bands and everything like that. And um, here you can see my little arm side dart that I've added on and my sleeves. Well, you can't tell the difference there. The, the sleeves are nice and long and they fit my arms, you know, so that's really nice. Well, when I was feeling trying this on, I looked at myself with this on sleeveless and I'm like, yeah, you know how I'm a sleeveless kind of person. I thought this would be perfect, the sleeveless as well. So I think I'm going to make a navy blue one. I have a remnant of the same fabric in navy blue, so I think I'm going to go ahead and make that. Also, I want to try and hack the sleeve into a cap sleeve, you know, like when it just reaches half the arm side from one side to the other. It basically just covers about that much of your of your arm and I think that looks cute too. So um, this is a pattern I'm gonna play with loads. I think I'm gonna make several because it fits all those little poofy dresses. Although I don't have many of them, I always have a hard time finding what to wear with them because they're nipping at the waist and then they're like poofy out, you know? So this is perfect. And that is the way I chose to take some pictures. So have a look. I also took some pictures with one of my sports running <laughs> purple <laughs> singlets underneath. I mean, I would wear this with pants as well in a more sporty way. It, it, it's so many options, so many options, you know? So that is all I had to share with you. Um, like this video, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a sewing tip with me. Have a nice time sewing, bye.